What is good, guys? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with SPY, Tesla, NVIDIA, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down what's going on with the overall market moving forward and talk about some very important factors that will affect how we end up moving. What you should be watching for as time progresses. But before I begin to double this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner. Make sure you take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you are guaranteed 20 free stocks and offerings in just about two days from now. Anyways, for SPY, I just wanted to mention that right now we're looking at some very, very interesting technicals. So we have this resistance around this 547 area. We have support at 546. And you guys can see how this has been kind of trading within these ranges right over here. With this nice range right here, and SPY is still showing some weakness. But if we end up holding below 546, there's going to be even more downside. So the question is, will that happen? What is my view of the market? Are we about to get a big rejection? I will give you guys some answers in this video. But first, just know that for tomorrow, being Friday, June 21st, we have the S&P Global Composite PMI data coming out. And I think that when this data comes out tomorrow, it's going to cause a lot of volatility in the markets. And this is going to be very key for whether or not this trend will continue. Because when, when you see a potential rejection in the markets, uh, you're looking at not only a break of certain levels, but a change of market structure. And what that means is you want to be looking for a shift with the follow through move. So if we're truly rejecting here, okay, so we had this bearish divergence, SPY came down, we need to see a follow through move. One day is not really enough to truly say we're getting a big rejection. Yes, it is showing signs that that's most likely going to happen, but we need to see a shift in the trend. What do I mean by that? Well, when you zoom out, you guys can see SPY is making lower, uh, higher highs, not higher lows. So we had this high here, made this high, made a higher low, made a high, a higher low, made a high. We did break the low, so we made a lower low relative to this low. So that's a sign of weakness. And if we fail to break this high, if we end up establishing a lower high, if this is our lower high at 548, or if we go a little bit higher and we just establish a lower high, and then we start to reject, that's a big signal that this thing is going to be seeing even more downside. And the gap fill all the way down to about 537 is very probable. So I just want to make it very clear that's what we're going to be watching for for tomorrow. Are we rejecting as of right now? Yes, you could say that it looks like we're at the start of a rejection, but I like to look at more uh, data to make that claim, especially going into tomorrow. We need to see a follow through move. Now, until we wait for that to happen, I just want to say that we're just going to be looking at the levels right now. If we close below 546, that's going to be a big sign of weakness, especially going into tomorrow. And there's going to be a risk of us seeing even more downside. So the risk will be a lot higher. If we close where we currently are, there's going to be somewhat of a risk, but we'd still be at this level here. So I'd be very patient with this nonetheless. But if anything, there is a lot of signals that the market's about to trend change. We're about to see a little sell-off, a nice pullback. And uh, with this continuing, we'll have to see how things go from here. But I'll be watching to see what happens as we approach that 537 area if we do get a big rejection. So are we rejecting? The answer is we're showing some signs of it, yes. But we need a follow-through move for confirmation to truly say, yes, we're, this is about to be a big rejection. And it is looking like that's most likely going to be the case. So we'll see, just to be safe. That's what the market is looking like. We might get a rejection from here and SPY may continue to decline, especially if we lose some key supports. For Tesla, we have a nice double top-like structure, right? We had this structure right here as Tesla starting to make lower highs and lower lows, despite the uptrend it was trying to hold this kind of broke structure. So it's starting to show some weakness. Now, we have resistance around 181.84 and also at 183. We have support at 180. In my personal opinion, I wouldn't be surprised if Tesla kind of rebounds a bit and gets a rejection and continues lower because we have this imbalance over here. We have a nice imbalance that's trying to act as a magnet, kind of pushing Tesla down to 178. So there is a risk of more downside. Could we... Uh, could we kind of like rebound a bit? Yes, we could, but there is going to be that risk looking at how the market is selling off. Tesla is showing weakness and there is a risk of more downside in my personal opinion. Look at NVIDIA. We called out NVIDIA, guys, and this thing came tumbling, tumbling down. Okay, we came down to the 30 minutes, uh, 200 EMA. We went from 142 all the way down to 130. I did warn everyone that NVIDIA had a risk of downside. We're going to be looking for a little rebound. Might try to grab liquidity again around 134. Then if we come back down, we end up losing 130. I'll be looking for a bigger dip. If we fail at 130, a bigger drop is going to be coming. We could be coming all the way down to 125 next. That's going to be probable if we lose 130. So watch that as key support. We could rebound first before we continue, but look and see how it ends up moving from there. For Bitcoin, 
Bitcoin is trying to rebound a bit. We're going to be looking for some nice resistance right here around this 65,000 area. If that breaks, we'll be looking for 65,500. If that fails us, we're going to just continue to decline. So I'm seeing some weakness, at least on this chart of Bitcoin. We're on a bit of a downtrend, and I think that there's a good chance that Bitcoin may dip lower. So I'll be watching to see how things end up going. For other factors, if you look at, let me just double check this. We also have the QQQ. The QQQ is also on a bit of a rejection right over here. Uh, we pushed up towards this 488 area. We had a nice gap of only to reject. And what you'll see is that I want to see this kind of rebound a bit too. I want to see if we establish a lower high. If that's the case, we're going to continue to fall into the 470s. And I find that to be very probable too, as we have a big gap to fill below. So this looks more bearish. This looks like a big rejection on the QQQ. Watch to see if we establish a lower high and continue lower. And if we end up losing fours, uh, 480 and 478, we're going to be looking for even more downside. The risk is still there. Um, this is Apple. A Apple is showing some weakness because when you look at the trend, we are at this 210 area. Uh, losing this opens the doors for about this 208. I think we're, we're going to be testing 208 to the previous resistance right here. And then we have 20, 205 below that. So I do see some more downside potential for Apple. For a few more, for Supermicro, we called the move. I said in my video that I'd be watching 1000 and 1020. Somewhere there, we might get a rejection. That's exactly where Supermicro rejected. And now I'm seeing some signals for more potential downside. We might rebound a bit, try to bounce a little bit, retest you know, in the 940s before we try to continue lower. But then I, then I do see a risk of us coming all the way down to the 880s if that ends up failing. So look for a little rebound and a rejection. Those are two of the most likely possibilities. For Coinbase, we're on a bit of a downtrend right over here. You guys can see it's been just continuing to decline. It's falling and falling and falling. So I see a risk of this dipping even lower all the way down towards these lower levels. So I see risks of down. So we could rebound first to test the 20 EMA, then reject. But I'll be watching that very carefully. For Amazon, Amazon has a double bottom like structure. We're trying to rebound a bit. If we reject here, uh, if we hit 186, uh, we could be coming back down towards 184.5. If we break this, we will be pushing for 187. But I think that Amazon is still showing some strength relative to the markets. And there is still an uptrend. As long as we manage to hold above 184, there is potential. If we lose that, we'll be dipping lower. So I think we're going to try to accumulate and try to rebound. So we'll see how things go from there. <laughs> For Meta, Meta is trying to rebound a little bit. Uh, I think that 505 could be coming uh, very soon if we continue to push. So I'll see how things go from here. Uh, but that's going to be very, very important. For Microsoft, um, we're trying to rebound. Look for a test of 446. We'll see if this rejects off here or not. But I do see a little bit more upside coming. It's trying to temporarily rebound. Google is not doing that great. It's just trading sideways. Here's the problem. We still have a head and shoulders, and we haven't really broken past 180. So I do see a risk of us dipping lower if we lose 176. If that breaks, we'll be dipping. So I'll be wa watching to see how things end up going. For GameStop, GameStop is trying to rebound a bit. Uh, if we try to continue to push, I'll be looking for essentially uh, a nice pump for the 200 EMA. The 200 EMA is all the way up here around this 26 plus area. So I do think GameStop might test that. 26.7, if that breaks, look for a bigger push. Otherwise, it's going to just slowly shuffle its way up. For uh, AMC, we're just kind of trading sideways right here. We're not really doing a whole lot. So I think that this may continue at least as time goes on. It's not really doing too much. So we'll just give it some more time. With that being said, guys, um, thank you all so much for listening. I hope you guys have an absolutely spectacular rest of the day. Uh, that is it for this video. Uh, I want to just make this nice, short, sweet, and simple. So just to be frank, the market's in a very, very critical place. We, we need to see if the market establishes a lower high if we get a follow through move to the downside. So make sure you're very patient and see if we end up getting that. And once again, guys, the market is showing signs of weakness. So just be ready. All right. So wait for confirmation. We'll see how things go. Watch the levels I called out and just know there is a risk of more downside. So be open-minded and do what you have to do, guys. I will see you guys very soon in just a few hours. Thanks again and peace out.